everyone, happy Thursday. It's Nicole here from Brin Develop Podiatry. Now this video is for everybody who has ever been told by their podiatrist, their PT, their physio, their chiro, their osteo, their doctor, that they have a weak core and that they need to work on their buttocks muscles. So what you need is a resistance band. You may have one of these. I actually got this one from Aldi and it was less than $10. So it's not an expensive item that you have to buy. A lot of people actually have one of these in their homes that they've probably been given by their podiatrist or their physio. These are less than $10 as well and they're different resistance. These are TheraBands. So grab whichever resistance you feel you need. If you're not sure, start with the lightest resistance so that you can actually be really good at doing these exercises. And then once you get better and stronger and your buttocks is nice and tight, then you'll be able to use a higher resistance. So the first one that you need to do is, you put your, I'll move back so you can see. Okay, so you put your band under here, you cross it over and you squat down and you walk side, side, side and back. So what this is doing is it's really working through here. You need to keep your abs switched on and you need to keep your back up straight. There's no sort of leaning forward or tilting back. Straight up and you're just going side across the room. So you might want to do 10 steps to the left and then 10 steps to the right. You're staying in that sort of squatted position. You're not standing up straight. You're in a squatted position. So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two is, again, same position. You can have the band out if it's easier or you can keep it crossed. It is actually nice to have it crossed because you can rest it on your hips there and hold on to your hips. Now this one, squatting position again, and it's going back. So back and keeping your other leg really switched on and your core switched on, and you're going back. Now you can either do it when you're a beginner, you might just want to go to the floor. So back to the floor. So say do 10 on one side and then change, just back to the floor. And then the third one is a little bit more advanced. So you can do up in the air. So you're not actually touching the ground. You're coming close to the ground, but you're not actually touching the ground. So you could do 10 of those, switch over, and then 10 on the other side. Constantly staying in the squat and constantly keeping your core switched on. And this is gonna help you to have much better core strength and a nicer buttocks for the summer that will be coming soon. It's really important that you work on your, your bottom muscles because if they're not functioning properly, you often get a hip drop, um, lower back pain, lots of other issues. So keep working on those buttocks and it does only cost $10, so there's no excuses. All right, I hope that's been helpful. Bye. Thanks for watching.